Kevin, you work a lot in the ISP world. I don't think everyone perhaps knows about what's going on in the internet out there. Do ISPs use copper or fiber to connect the world together? Yeah, well, actually, they, they use all of those, and, and they use them for different reasons. And so if you think about the, the physical properties of transmitting bits on a wire, um, electrical signals can only go so far uh, until they have to be repeated. And so a lot of the places where we use uh, uh, copper or, or electrical signals is in lower speeds or shorter distances. As we get towards higher speeds, uh, we can't transmit those bits very far across uh, a, copper, a copper cable. Um, and so we start to move to, to lasers and, and fiber optics. Uh, and also as we get to longer distances, you know, when we're going hundreds of kilometers, thousands of kilometers, those all have to be done with fiber optics. Give us some examples, like what's the highest speeds that you get with fiber optic cables and what's the longest distance that you can transmit? Well, so it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. The longest distances are actually undersea cables. And, and these can be thousands or even you know, 10,000 kilometers as, as we traverse the undersea and we go between, uh, between continents. Uh, generally, though, if I think about a terrestrial network like, like the United States, uh, a few thousand kilometers is, is what they use. And they'll connect, you know, different, different routers will connect different cities or different metros together. And you'll go a couple thousand kilometers across, across fiber. Is it like one fiber cable? Do they have to have repeaters along the way? Or how does that work? They do bundles of fiber as well so that they, they trench and they can, they can lay those fiber cables down. And so you have a lot of, of fiber or what they call glass in the ground. The crazy thing, though, are the undersea cables. The undersea cables are integrated with repeaters because you can only send the light a certain distance. Uh, and so when you're doing these engineered thousands of kilometers undersea, they basically build the cables, make them much, much longer than they need, and then they, they sink them down to, to the ocean floor. So they have to build all of the technology inside of them to get the, the, the distance they need. Yep. And then they do break. Uh, they do have crazy things like sharks have chewed through cables and stuff. And so they have these specialized boats that will go out, bring the, the cable out of the water, and then they can splice it and fix it uh, you know, while they're at sea.